Have you ever wondered why the Dome of the Rock is considered one of the most important religious sites in Islam? This magnificent golden dome, shimmering under the Jerusalem sun, holds a unique position of reverence among the followers of Islam. The Dome of the Rock is not just a beautiful architectural marvel, but a testament to the deep-rooted faith of millions across the globe. Situated on the ancient Temple Mount in Jerusalem, it's a place where history and faith intertwine. The site is revered not just in Islam, but also holds significance to Christianity and Judaism, making it a focal point of the three major Abrahamic religions. Its location alone speaks volumes of its importance, standing tall at the crossroads of cultures, religions, and histories. Underneath this golden dome lies a stone with a story that dates back thousands of years, a story that's etched in the heart of every Muslim. Now let's delve deeper into the historical journey of this magnificent structure. The history of the Dome of the Rock dates back to the 7th century, a period marked by significant Islamic conquests. This iconic structure owes its existence to the vision of Caliph Abd al-Malik, who commissioned its construction in around 685 AD during the Second Islamic Caliphate. The Caliph's reign was a time of considerable political upheaval, and the construction of the dome was as much a political statement as a religious one. The Dome of the Rock was not just built in any style. It borrowed heavily from Byzantine architectural design, a move that was both practical and symbolic. The practical aspect was that Byzantine craftsmen, already adept at dome building, were available in the newly conquered lands. The symbolic aspect was that by using this style, Caliph Abd al-Malik was demonstrating the continuity of Islamic rule with the past, while also asserting its distinct identity. The materials used in the construction of the Dome of the Rock were also exceptional. The exterior was originally covered in mosaics, a feature borrowed from Byzantine architecture. The interior, however, is where the real marvel lies. The walls and ceiling were adorned with gold and colored glass mosaics, creating a dazzling spectacle of light and color. But perhaps the most significant feature of the dome's interior is the inscription that runs around the inner octagonal arcade. This inscription, composed in classical Arabic, provides a valuable historical record. It not only confirms the date of the dome's construction, but also reflects Caliph Abd al-Malik's vision of Islam and its place in the world. The completion of the Dome of the Rock was not just an architectural achievement, it was a symbol of the unity and strength of the Islamic Empire, a visual assertion of the faith's continuity and permanence. It was a statement to the world that Islam was here to stay, a message that resonates even today. The completion of the Dome of the Rock marked a turning point in Islamic architecture. It set a precedent for the use of domes in Islamic religious architecture, a feature that would become a hallmark of mosques around the world. From then on, the dome would become a symbol of the Islamic world, a testament to the faith's enduring legacy and its architectural ingenuity. Over the centuries, the Dome of the Rock has witnessed numerous events and changes. From the time of its construction in the 7th century, it has stood as a silent observer to the unfolding of history, enduring through the ebb and flow of different empires and dynasties. Let's take a step back in time to the period of the Crusades, a series of religious wars that swept through the 11th to the 15th centuries. The Dome of the Rock was at the heart of these conflicts, as Christian crusaders sought to reclaim the Holy Land from the Muslims. In the year 1197, the dome was converted into a Christian church known as Templum Domini. It was a time of profound change, as the site adapted to the rituals and traditions of a new faith. However, the Crusaders' reign was not to last forever. The Muslim leader, Salah al-Din, also known as Saladin, recaptured Jerusalem in the year 1187, marking the beginning of the Ayyubid period. Under his rule, the Dome of the Rock was restored to its Islamic roots. Saladin initiated renovations to undo the Christian alterations and return the dome to its original grandeur. As the centuries rolled on, the Dome of the Rock continued to endure. The Ottoman period, starting in the 16th century, brought new changes. The Ottoman Sultan, Suleiman the Magnificent, was a great patron of architecture. He commissioned extensive restorations and beautification projects for the dome, including the addition of the stunning blue Iznik tiles that adorn its exterior today. These tiles, with their intricate designs and patterns, have become one of the most recognizable features of the Dome of the Rock. Through the centuries, the Dome of the Rock has also weathered natural calamities. 
earthquakes in the 11th and 14th centuries caused significant damage, leading to periods of extensive repair and reconstruction. Each time, the dome emerged stronger, its resilience a testament to the enduring spirit of the people who cherished it. The Dome of the Rock has not just survived, it has thrived. Every renovation, every restoration, has added a new layer to its story, enriching its historical and cultural significance. Each period of its history has left a mark, shaping the dome into the architectural marvel that we see today. From the Crusades to the Ayyubid and Ottoman periods, the Dome of the Rock has stood as a beacon of faith, its golden dome glistening under the Middle Eastern sun. It has borne witness to the rise and fall of empires, the changing tides of religious belief, and the continual march of time. Despite all these changes, the Dome of the Rock has remained a symbol of Islamic faith and heritage. Through every challenge, every change, it has stood firm, a testament to the strength and resilience of the faith it represents. And as we look to the future, we can only imagine the new chapters that the Dome of the Rock will add to its already rich tapestry of history. Fast forward to the present day, the Dome of the Rock continues to be a focal point of religious and political activities. As we traverse through the corridors of contemporary history, this architectural marvel still commands immense religious, cultural, and political significance. In the heart of Jerusalem, the Dome of the Rock continues to reverberate with the footfalls of countless faithful. It serves as a spiritual beacon for the world's over 1 billion Muslims, who perceive it as a symbol of their shared religious heritage and a testament to their faith. However, its location within the old city of Jerusalem places it at the epicenter of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. As both Israelis and Palestinians lay claim to this sacred city, the Dome of the Rock has often found itself caught in the crossfire of their enduring dispute. This has led to numerous instances of tension and violence, making the site a hotbed for political unrest. Yet, despite the turbulence that surrounds it, the Dome of the Rock remains a symbol of unity and faith to Muslims worldwide. Its golden dome, shimmering against the Jerusalem skyline, continues to inspire awe and reverence. For many, it is more than just a religious site. It is a symbol of resilience and perseverance. Despite the conflicts it has witnessed and the political upheaval it has endured, the Dome of the Rock stands tall, its magnificence undiminished. In the face of adversity, it has become a beacon of hope, a testament to the indomitable spirit of faith. It is a reminder that even in the midst of conflict, beauty and tranquility can endure. And it continues to resonate with the prayers and hopes of millions, echoing the timeless message of peace and unity that is at the heart of Islam. Today, the Dome of the Rock stands not only as a place of worship, but also as a symbol of resilience and faith. It is a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity and the unyielding power of belief, a symbol that continues to inspire, unite, and give hope to millions around the world. So, why does the Dome of the Rock hold such a significant place in Islam and world history? It's a question we've been exploring throughout this journey, and the answer is layered, much like the intricate mosaics that adorn the monument itself. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered. The Dome of the Rock, an architectural marvel, was constructed in the 7th century. Its design, featuring Byzantine artistry and Islamic motifs, is a testament to the cultural synthesis of that era. This architectural marvel stands as a symbol of the Islamic Golden Age, a period of remarkable intellectual and cultural growth. We delved into the monument's journey through the centuries, witnessing its resilience in the face of political upheavals, wars, and natural disasters. Despite these challenges, the Dome of the Rock has stood firm, echoing the enduring spirit of the Islamic faith. In the modern context, the Dome of the Rock continues to be a beacon of spiritual significance for Muslims around the globe. It's not just a historical monument, but a living testament to the faith and devotion of millions. The Golden Dome, shimmering under the Jerusalem sky, is a sight that inspires awe and reverence. But beyond its architectural grandeur and historical resilience, we must remember that the Dome of the Rock's true significance lies in its religious sanctity. As the site where Prophet Muhammad is believed to have ascended to heaven, it holds a special place in the hearts of Muslims. It stands as a symbol of their faith, their history, and their connection to the divine. In conclusion, the Dome of the Rock is not just a beautiful structure, but a testament to the rich history and faith of Islam. It reminds us that architecture is not just about bricks and stones, but about the stories, beliefs, and lives that these structures encapsulate. 
and in the case of the Dome of the Rock, these stories and beliefs continue to resonate centuries after its construction, making it a truly timeless monument.